Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'll be showing you the new version of the Jcash RSI. So as usual, after purchase, uh, you will download it and most of the time when you download something it will go straight into your download folder. So you can start off by going to file, uh, after the download, do open, uh, you can go to uh, this. Uh, MQL04 or you can just simply go to your download and then you will find the new version you just uh, copy or cut and then you can go into you go back and then you go into MQL4 uh, your indicator and then uh, you can paste it anywhere so I'm gonna paste it and I can see my RSI Jcash RSI scanner version 2 has been added to the list of my indicators so what you do now you can close this out and then just right click here and just do a refresh you can right click on anything and now you should see Jcash RSI 2 and I can see it here so to start it off you can double click and it will come up like that or you might see this page here or you can simply drag and drop it on the chart that will bring up the same thing so this will be this is the RSI and here are some of the inputs so let's take a look at how it how it works and some functionalities and then we'll go into this settings so right now the new RSI you have uh, more functions and it runs really light so you can drag it around move it out of the way move it to a place where you can still see your chart but what I recommend is put on a chart that you don't even use so any random chart like USD DKK I don't know what that is uh, so you can put on a chart that you don't even trade off and let it run in the background and you still get your notification so uh, the timer that you see here is my current time 6.45 and the time is running you can change it to the server time or to whatever time that you want to and on this uh, these are the notifications so if I want to disable notification for all this time frame I just click it and it's red I can unclick click it and it's green so now I'll get a notification for this one each one of them you if you don't want notification just simply click on there and it's disabled and just click again to enable it just that simple and if I don't want any notification say for uh, your USD I just click this and this would disable all the notification on this one so I will not receive any notification for your USD same thing you just click and it's gone now you'll be able to receive notification so right now I don't check go so go now we'll be getting notification and here we go and I can see on my cell phone now so I can see uh, gold and since this is uh, uh, on month one it's gonna keep showing and I don't think anybody's showing and it's been on 82 the whole time so uh, these are very simple features and uh, drag and drop and you can move your stuff around wherever that you want it to place it well you can just simply put it on on a, on a chart so these are the buttons on there and this makes it a little smaller and then you can make it bigger again all right so this is how it works and what you're seeing is the RSI values at the RSI and you will see an update the uh, by default is updating every five seconds I have it set so it doesn't require a lot of your computer power unlike the old version that is constantly running this runs every five seconds so uh, it doesn't take a lot of power a lot of computing power to do all this calculation all right and also you can check on this so we're reading uh, 55 on your USD one and we we'll on that one so you can put your mouse on there and you can see 56 right now it's updated so it's gonna update here as well and let's see if I have it correctly on there 55 and it's reading so whenever it update we'll see that on there 
and uh, the same for it. So it's reading all the values for you. So when you take a look at it, that's the exact value that's being read on there. So let me try again. And now it's 54.697. So it's approximate 55. It run it up to 55 for you. So the same thing. And one neat thing about this one is if you on um, we on your USD and I want to switch to uh, GBP USD on um, let's say hour. You just click on it and it switch it to the hour and the and the pair for you. So you don't have to open so many tabs. You can have just one and then it will run. And again, nobody traded on this. That's why the gold keep coming up because the month is usually never going down that quick. So it's staying the same and uh, it will keep sending that notification. So if you don't want that, disable and everything here is disabled now. Or you can edit the actual in the input and you can take that off. So let's look up uh, some of the features that you have inside the inputs. So as usual, you can add in your value and I added go to it as the default. So uh, uh, let's look at this USD, USD, DKK. I don't know if anybody traded that, but uh, you add that, click OK, close. And now we got USD uh, KK added to it. So the same thing again. If you want to disable this, you can just click on M1, and everything is disabled for M1. So you're not going to be receiving any notification on M1. The same thing for all of it. If you want to enable it, you can click on there, and it's back on on there for you. All right. So let's look at the input again. So you can add your pairs to it and also the time frame. So even if you if you don't want to see the time frame while you can click to disable the notification, you can still remove it if you don't want to. If you don't want this time frame on there, if you don't want this, all this, just remove it, hit okay, close, and those time frames are gone. So it's out of your uh, view. So you're not gonna receive notification or uh, see it. So very simple to use. And uh, if you make a mistake, all you gotta do is just hit reset and everything is back. And you just click okay. So here are the RSI levels. So if you use something different, you can make uh, changes to it. And notification, I already have it to pop up and also send straight to your phone so you don't have to click to enable it it's already there for you so if you don't want to pop up then uh, change it to false and then it will just go straight to your phone instead of popping up on your computer as well and the rest of my fonts in different colors and this is the time so uh, the time that's displaying right now is my current time so if you want to look at your broker's time it will show you and also uh, the Greenwich mean, uh, mean time you can so whichever time frame is just some small feature uh, background and you can play with this as you see fit but if there is anything wrong just hit reset and it's back to the way as you got it and also if you add all your pairs to it and this is it if you don't want to lose your pairs so click save you save it and it will cre uh, you create a set file so let's say I'm gonna say over this RSI or let's say RSI uh, V2 and I just hit save so now all my pairs are, let me actually add one to it USDDKK all right so this is not part of the default so I'm gonna hit save and I'm gonna save over again. Yes. So now, if I remove this by accident, uh, let's, see. let's say something happened, it's closed, and instead of doing a whole new setup, you when you come, you open 
you open it, see, it, it, everything is back to the default. But since I already have it saved, I just do load and go select that. And then it has what I have already put in there. So all the settings that you have, once you save it, you can always go back to it easily. And then you just hit OK. And then you wait for your RSI to load and everything is there, just like I had it from before. And so this is simply the uh, how you will use the RSI and how to make changes to the settings and these are the new features. So let me know if you have any questions or issues about it. All right, thank you.